Okay, data types. You just said, whoa. Whoa, data types. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. So data types are just the kinds of information that can flow through these pipes, these patch cords. And, you know, like any programming language, there's a sort of a fixed amount of, you know, num there's a fixed number of data types, types of information that can flow through these pipes. Um, first one, the simplest one is a bang. Bang is just a, what comes out of a button. Technically, it's just a message. So it's like, literally, it's just a word that's typed out by the button. Um, but, you know, we can consider it a data type, I guess. So a bang just means do it. It's just like a special type of data that just means trigger something. Okay, so the next most complicated one, um, we're going from simplest to most complex here. So the next one is an integer. An integer is just a whole number. It has no decimal point associated with it. So um, they can range from negative numbers to positive numbers. So here I have an integer and I'll just like click and drag in here to create the number. It's gonna go through and go into this plus five object. Plus is an actual object, by the way, in max. We'll talk about math in a minute, but plus five is just gonna add five to that number and then the result is gonna be output and put into another number box. So here we have just integers. 34 plus five is 39. Um, decimals are you know sometimes called floats aren't you uh, clever what you put pi in there i did three point oh four. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry yeah i okay. digress you di <laughs> you digress keep going <laughs> decimals yeah floats are just decimal point numbers um and if you click on the right of the decimal you can adjust your number with fine precision if you click over on the other side of the decimal you can adjust it with um varying you know with um, less precision um I often see students who are like trying to generate, they want to get to a hundred uh -huh. and they want to put a hundred in there and they don't type it in. They're just like, and they're just doing this Drag. for like five <laughs> minutes trying to get it up to a hundred when they can just go. Oh um, okay. So um, decimals are just float, floating point numbers are just uh, numbers that have a decimal point to them. Well, why would you have a decimal versus a non-decimal? Like why would you ever want to use uh you know, why do you want, why have integers versus decimals? Why not just use decimals all the time? This is a rhetorical question. I know, I have opinions, and I was like, I think I'm gonna keep this to myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no, there's a lot of reasons yeah. you wanna just use integers. Um, <clears throat> like if you're building a step sequencer, right? You don't have a fractional step, right? Like if you have a 16 note step sequencer and it's going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way up to 16. You want to count those steps with integers. You don't want to use decimal points in no. that case because, like, you just want you know go from one beat to the next beat. You don't have like a half beat. Okay. Um, symbols. Symbols are just texts or text like they're words. Just they're pieces of text. So these are message boxes that are, I've typed words into, and they're technically symbols. And when I go over to my uh, console here and I click on these, dog, cat, duck. Those are symbols. Um, it's just a sort of fancy term that means words. Um, words, words, words. Yeah, lists are just a collection of things. Uh, lists can be symbols, can be floats, can be integers. Um, but a list is just a like a, a, a list of. It's just a more than one element and sort of packed together into one long word. So when I click on. Uh, this I'll click on the second one here 3.15 space bang space four space high. Okay, I'm gonna click on that It actually prints it all out on one line mm -hmm. Okay, now if there were commas in between they would be treated as separate elements, but uh, I'm not gonna show that here Okay, so we have bang integer decimal symbol, which is just text list which is a collection of things uh, a JIT matrix we're gonna talk a whole bunch more about JIT matrix <laughs> yeah. um, but JIT matrix is a type of data in Max. It's a multi-layer array. Uh, so in this case, we have JIT.noise, which is a JIT object. It generates a matrix of 10 by 10, it says here. So, and it's generating char data, which is a zero to 255 information. Um, one layer of char data with a 10 by 10 resolution. And when I click on it, there we go. So we have an array of 10 by 10. Each one is just a random number between zero and 255. It's interesting, you've just said a lot of things that took me a long time to learn, so we might wanna 
talk about not in this tutorial but like what is a matrix what is an array yeah. what i mean and now's not the time but feel free to not understand it to yet. not understand it yeah. yet okay cool yeah it's just i just wanted to expose that jit uh jit matrix is yeah. uh, matrix is a data type likewise an audio signal or um an msp signal msp is like you know when they made max then they came out with this set of objects called msp objects and they all ended with a tilde because it looks like a sound wave MSP have these thicker connections here. Oh, Jitter have, has thicker connections. See how that connection's like green and thicker than these? That's a JIT connection. MSP is like thicker and yellow. I don't know if you can see that, but. Um, so MSP, I can actually turn on this and, uh, oh, it's generating a swept wave here. Mm -hmm. So MSP, um, this is the cycle object that generates a sine wave. And here it's generating a sine wave at a frequency of one hertz. So it's gonna go up and down one time per second. And um, the thing about audio signals is that they they come out really fast, like 44,000 times a second, it's gonna generate a new number, which is just the audio sample rate of the computer. We'll get to all that later. And Would you not consider a toggle as a data type? I mean, it, 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 I, I put bang in there. Bang right. is technically not a data type, but right. it's uh, used so often. I just look at toggle as generating integers. Right. I mean, I could have put it in here, but not, no, no, I, I don't think it's a data type. No, no. It just generates integers. Bang generates this special message that's right, so but, ubiquitous that you could almost consider it to be a data type. Right, but I mean, yeah. We'll have to agree to disagree. No, you, we can agree that you're wrong. <laughs> You better stop this now before people hear us go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't like that agree to disagree thing. No. Okay, well, let's agree toggle, that you're wrong. Okay, a toggle is going to produce a zero or a one. Yeah. Always a zero or a one. Right. And in some instances, that's all you want is a zero or a one as your data type, mm -hmm. as your, you know, as your output is a zero or a one. So in that instance, it is... Very I get where you're coming from. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's ubiquitous and it's like it's a special type of thing, a toggle, right? Okay. Yeah. Where, but you could generate. You could just send a zero or a one. Right. Yeah. And uh, but likewise with bang, you could actually make a message box that says so the word bang. bang in it. Right. It's the same deal. Right. So. Okay. Two. I get See, what you're you just, saying. You just proved my point for 